So you guys are thinking about having a baby now. So let me give you the parameters that we need for you to be following or to be under before you get pregnant. So A1C should be right around 6.5 before you consider pregnancy. Now, should things happen and you get pregnant, it's okay, it's okay. Um, I've had a girl whose A1C was 14 and she got pregnant and delivered a normal, healthy baby. We just had to work a little hard in the beginning. It's important to follow a good diet and we'll have you checking your blood sugars more frequently. I encourage you that if you haven't considered an insulin pump, you might want to consider an insulin pump. It makes the pregnancy so much easier. And getting a continuous glucose sensor will definitely make your life much easier for the entire pregnancy. So now that you're in your first trimester, let's talk about what's going to take place. As the baby grows, it's going to be using a lot of the extra sugar that you have. So you're going to have a lot of low blood sugars. You need to be prepared for that. You need to carry all kinds of snacks with you, and I'd like your snacks to be a carbohydrate and a protein. If you eat candy just to bring, or dextrose, dextrose tablets just to bring your sugars up, you will drop again. So make sure you have a protein. A lot of moms have low blood sugars during the night, so make sure your partner understands that if you're acting funny while you're sleeping, maybe wake you up to test your sugar because it does occur frequently during the night. We want to make sure you have glucagon at home because you can have sugars that drop really low. Mine dropped to 20 frequently throughout my first trimester. So I want you to be prepared. I don't want you to over-treat because if you go crazy and go the other way and over-treat, you're gonna to be too high and then it could be causing some higher sugars for the baby. Not that it's gonna cause any problems for the baby, but we wanna limit the number of high sugars you have. If you have morning sickness, you can use Zofran and that's safe to use in pregnancy. Eating things like sour pickles and sour candy that's sugar-free also will help just a little bit of snacking throughout the day, that'll help as well. If you vomit from morning sickness, then you need to be prepared to have some clear apple juice or something that you can use to bring your sugar up. If you are unable to eat, you can use glucagon in smaller dose to keep your sugars up if you've taken your insulin. Baby will grow just fine. Low blood sugars do not cause any problems for the baby, so the baby will be fine if you're having a lot of lows. You just won't feel as good. Protein is very important at this time, at all times with type 1 diabetes. The protein tends to kind of lessen the spike that the carbohydrates will have. So if you eat protein with the carbohydrate, you tend to not spike as high. It'll also prevent you from becoming hungry because now baby's growing, you're hungrier. So it'll help if you get hungry, eat more protein, eat more meat, eat more cheese. So now for your three month plan, you are going to need to see the high risk OB. And in that, when you go see them, they are gonna to wanna to run a series of blood work on you. And that blood work's gonna include some genetic testing, and they're gonna do the blood type of the baby, and they're gonna check your blood type and your RH status to see if you are gonna need a shot before you deliver the baby. Your diabetes isn't gonna have any impact on the baby because of these tests. So don't worry about that. So your A1C now, your target is 5.8. You are 6.4. We want to keep you right around 5.8 throughout your pregnancy. And that's easy to attain during the first trimester because you do have so many lows. <laughs> so that one, I think we can make. It's just maintaining it then through the rest of the pregnancy becomes a little more challenging.